good morning so today we are dealing with uh, normality okay uh, so normality testing how to do a normality testing so before that we should know what is uh, normality or what is a normal curve okay uh, so why we are doing normality testing is because uh, which test to be applied on the data uh, we collected is decided by whether the data is following a normal distribution or not a normal distribution that is whether <coughs> it is following normality or not so based upon uh, we have to choose a parametric test or a non-parametric test which we will be dealing later so the testing of normality is different thing uh, all softwares uh, will be doing the testing we don't do it normally but which test to be applied and what is normality the concept we should understand better so the normality means the data set if we are taking a blood pressure of 100 people and we are putting into uh, x and y axis so this is like a compilation of points of blood pressure okay so if we put uh, 100 people it will come like this few people's value will be this side few people value will be this side and majority will be this side so this will be the measure of central tendency this will be the dispersion <coughs> so uh, there is one theorem okay that theorem is known as central limit theorem central limit theorem says that as the sample size is reaching up to 100 not 100,000 the data or the sample will be normally distributed so if you are taking a sample of 1000 thousand people and we are checking any data we are taking 1000 people and we are checking blood pressure or height or weight of that particular thousand people it will follow this curve this curve is individual values connected so it has some peculiar characteristics these characteristics okay <coughs> so if it is towards thousand actually it need not to be thousand if the sample is very high some 200 300 400 it will follow the normality okay so little thing a uh, little about his uh, history normality or normal curve it's also known as bell's curve because it looks like a bell inverted bell and it is given by a scientist known as gauss g o u s so it is also known as uh, gaussian distribution it is a compilation of measure of central tendency and measure of dispersion yesterday we learned this is a measure of central tendency and this is dispersion it is according to the central limit theorem if the data is sample is very high it will follow these characteristics <coughs> if it is not following these characteristics we can say that the data is not no, not following normality so we should go for a different testing okay so this is the basic about normality and we'll uh, see the characteristics okay so if the data is following normality what happens is we can calculate the mean and standard deviation of any data okay so if the no data is following normality mean with one standard deviation will cover 68.4 percentage of the 
population. Mean with student standard deviation will cover 95.3 and mean with 3 standard deviation will cover 99.7. I'll explain you. Suppose 1000 people or 500 people our mean is the measure of uh, we are measuring the weight of a person okay so the mean weight is 60 kilogram and the standard deviation is 10 kilogram okay just an example for around 1000 people we have 1000 people n is equal to 1000 so we want to see that whether it is following normality or not <coughs> so we calculated mean and standard deviation so now we should apply this thing okay so mean plus or minus one standard deviation that is 60 plus 10 to 60 minus 10 that is 50 to 70 or 70 to 50 same thing mean plus or minus two standard deviation that again we get like 40 to 80 mean plus or minus three standard deviation so we get 30 to 90 so the weight of a 68.4 percentage that is 684 people out of 1000 will be within the range of 50 to 70 kilogram okay it should be within the range of 50 to 70 kilogram that is this one 68.4 percentage so it is like above the mean there will be 34.2 below the mean 34.2 okay so next is mean plus or minus 2 standard deviation that is 95.4 percentage or 3 percentage should be within 40 to 80 that is 953 people out of 1000 will be having or should be having kilogram weight between 40 to 80 kilogram okay and almost all the participants that is 99.7 that is 997 out of 1000 should be having within 30 and 90 so three people will be having values greater than 90 or less than 30 so uh, we need to calculate mean and standard deviation uh, we need to apply this we should see whether 684 people are coming within one standard deviation 95.4 whether it is coming within two standard deviation that is above the mean and below the mean two standard deviation that is above mean 60 plus Two standard deviation that is 80 okay 60 minus 2 times 2 standard deviation that is 40 okay so above and below mean it should be within uh, it should have 95.3 percentage uh, and the th three standard deviation that is 99.7 percentage so if this follow this maths or this characteristics we can say that it is following normality so for the normal distribution the area of curve will be 1 mean will be 0 and standard deviation will be 1 this is some common characteristics and mean and median and mode will coincide okay so this will be the mean median and mode okay so how the mean will be 0 is when we standardized this curve all the values above the mean and all the values below the mean will get cancelled each other actually mean will never be zero 
but when we standardized it okay so when we standardized it means when we put values just standard values that is if we have 10 20 30 40 50 so when we standardized it we put plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 like that and the similar one here minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 and like that when we add all these so we get 0 that's how it is coming mean 0 actually it will not be 0 in a normal scenario when we standardized it so when we should do standardization is a different thing we don't do standardization in a normal case but it is a characteristics of a normal curve okay uh, mean and median mode will coincide at the center because it will be almost same in one standard division it will have 68.4 percentage 95.3 will be having two standard deviation and 99.7 point will be having three standard deviation whether it follow these things we can say that the data is following normality